Heavy rains and flooding forcing some residents out of their homes in California right now. Yep, even more drenching wet weather's on the way. And WGN's Christine Flores has been following today's developments and has the latest. Yeah, Dina and Ray, the death toll is now up to at least 16 people. Those powerful storms continue to cause problems across the state of California. Thousands have been forced to evacuate. Flooding and mudslides are a few of the issues brought on by a series of intense winter storms in California. A second wave is now posing major risks for residents. Just outside of Los Angeles in Chatsworth, a large sinkhole swallowed two vehicles, prompting the rescue of a mother and a daughter. Two other people managed to exit one of the vehicles on their own. This was a high-risk operation where we, we implemented our risk gain assessment, where we had to risk our, our personnel to save the others. Had we not acted in the way that we acted, uh, we could have seen catastrophic failure. The rain has been off and on the last two weeks. Sandbags are piled up around properties, and in some cases, entire neighborhoods are closed off to help protect the homes. We had one pretty bad flood in the garage uh, a couple months ago, so now we want to just be a little bit more prepared for that. We got an experience of what can happen, how quickly things can go south and what a quick microburst can do. So we're hopeful that we're ready for that this time. In San Luis Obispo County, the search continues for a missing five-year-old boy who was swept away during the storm Monday. The large amount of rain has saturated the ground. Just outside of San Francisco, Lori Sheets had a large pine tree fall on her home in San Bruno. No one was injured. You jump out of bed. <laughs> it's, uh, it's shocking. And then I opened the front door and all you could see were limbs. I mean, the big tree. Santa Rosa in Sonoma County also facing challenges. Didn't take much for a number of our roads uh, to get flooded, uh, ponding, nuisance flooding to occur across town and actually in one case, uh, Colgan Creek on the south end of town actually went over its banks. As a result of this intense storm, more than 175,000 people are without power across California. And while it's too early to tell how much the damage has been caused, experts estimate it to exceed $1 billion. Now, President Joe Biden has issued an emergency declaration uh, to support uh, any storm response and relief to areas that have been impacted across the state of California. Well, and 16 fatalities at this point in time. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh gosh, I hope they find that yeah. little boy. Yeah, five, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. So no relief is going to come their way yet um, in terms of precipitation, but you do have to kind of put this into perspective. They had a severe, extreme drought there. Mm -hmm. yeah. They knew that they needed rain. You know, they didn't want it to all Not come this, fast. This, this quickly, but uh, in the end, there will be some positive aspects Good. from this. Unfortunately, there's that loss, loss of life.